It's recording now. How do we know that? It says at the top of the screen. I know. This is an outtake. <laughs> <laughs> DVD extra. Oh, okay. Sam, are we ready to go? We've had quite a lot of things going on to keep the social side of the band going, which has been really nice. See the weekly challenges, it's been really nice seeing other people's interests and hobbies and talents. And I've learned things about people in the band, which we didn't know. So that's been really nice to kind of keep everyone socially involved. This is MWO Goes Live. Here I am. This is the first time I've done this, so I hope it's working. So all the hard work gets done in rehearsals. You know, as the conductor, it's my job to, to take the band through the music, to explain how all the parts fit together. Hopefully most people in the band realise how their part goes uh, and can play their part. Uh, but then it's my job to put all those parts together. I'm the only one there with a score, with all the all the music written in front of me. Caroline, there's another question. Do you do audio first, then video after? I tend to do audio first because then you have something to sync everything up to. Um, but once a piece of music is a certain length, it's not really going to change. So I can re-look at the audio several times if I hear in the editing that there is something that I would like to change. This is how I tend to go about uh, creating a piece of music. And you'll see that I've actually written it for Brass Quintet, um, but I've done it in a kind of sketch way. So obviously one trombone player can't play three notes, one horn player can't play three notes. Um, so the idea is that I'm getting all of my ideas, my musical information down in a way that is kind of viewable. I'm basically composing in real time so I'm thinking about how the notes I'm choosing are relating to the harmonic progression that underpins the melody uh, and I'm trying to weave my improvisation within that. Good evening everybody welcome to In Conversation With informal colloquial chats with members of Mughal Wind Orchestra. So if you make your lessons very practical, what sort of hands-on experience do, do your students see in the classroom? So try and do a wide range of instruments. So obviously your keyboard's one, but I try and only do a certain, like one or two topics containing keyboards out of like a six topic year. So obviously djembe, South African drumming, ukuleles, um, obviously vocal. So just trying to get as, as wide a range of instruments obviously to suit different people's kind of enjoyment as well. I also do a topic on stomp, which is all your jump percussion, body percussion. We, we can't talk about the past of the band without mentioning the uniform changes. I thought that's where you were going with the pomp and circumstance, <laughs> yeah. That um, was a, another spin-off from these weekends, that this ragtag of a band that had a sort of a uniform, which was sort of a, a grey jacket and... Some people had British Legion ties and some people had some uh, pink and grey stripy ties. That, That's right, uh, which had been black had got from a car place. MG, MG, MG car yes. company, MG <laughs> Rover as it became. The music is a real release and it's something where you, know, you, you, you sit in, a, in an ensemble, you sit in, in team, Muggle Wind Orchestra, um, and it takes your head completely out of work because actually what you're focusing on is the dots on the page, playing with your mates, um, you know, making great music together. And, and it's a real distraction um, and, and it's great for friendship. I suppose it was an aptitude test in primary school. If you think back to the, to the 1980s when they would come round and see if people had a, 
It wasn't the old Bentley test, was it? It might have been. I was about nine. I have no idea. Somebody yeah. just took the class into a classroom and sat us down and all 30 of us or so did a test. And out of so that, clearly you didn't pass that and you were given a horn. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. This process of doing lead sheets, going to piano arrangements, then I met arrangers who wanted a copyist. I remember being in Lund Young Blood Music at the time, as, as another uh, 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 company, and there was a guy called Nicky Welsh, very well-known arranger in the day, um, and he was stuck. His copyist couldn't do anything, and he was looking at what I was doing, and he said, you've got a steady hand. Here's a score. I want you to copy the parts. Good evening, good evening, one and all. Hello. Good evening, ladies and gents. Hopefully you can all hear me. Please let me know if you can. In preparation for this week, I have clearly had a shave. Welcome to the fourth Muggle Orchestra quiz. The winning prize is a weekend in Hull with Chris Horswood. There we go. Uh, the wooden spoon is two weeks in Hull with Chris Horswood. Hello, because I haven't actually. Oh yes, said hello, I was yeah. say hello. Just to prove that she is here. <laughs> No, no more. <laughs> it's such a delay. Oh, no, no. <laughs> if you want to grab yourself a drink. And we will commence at eight o'clock. I'm just going to whiz down um, the team names that I think we should have. Seventh position. Gemma and Sarban. Vegbox. Gareth. Are there any licorice stickers here? G Sharps. Full House of Joneses. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Runners up. Let, let's. Team Brennan. Nag's gone. Blow harder. Starsky and Hutch. Triple H. Sorted shotguns and some sax birds. It's a bit of fun. Um, try not to use Google as your teammate. This is her that needs cutting. Sarah is going to keep some scores for us on a very, very efficient spreadsheet. Um, so get your, your pens and paper at the ready. The first round is just on the Olympics. Here we go. This is question number one. What are the colours of the five interlaced rings on the Olympic flag? Question number two. Round number two, not question number two. Round number two is on the NHS. So it's question number three. What was the name of the Labour Health Minister often referred to as the father of the NHS? Round number three is letter change. Letter change. Letter change films, TV shows. Letter changed music. This is where we take a well-known film and I changed one letter and we replace the synopsis. Question number four. Question number five. The Banks family's new nanny turns out to be a member of Take That. Calm down. Calm down, comment section. It's fine. Question number six. Which two colours appear? on the flag of the Ukraine. And if you didn't know that, you now have a completely use of piece of knowledge that you've learnt on Tuesday night. Sorry, I've just had a, a content warning from, um, from oh. YouTube there for playing, obviously, too much of a song. Question number seven. Question number seven. Question number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Um, question number seven. Question number seven. Listen carefully to this one. Commonly seen under a piece of music, what does IPA stand for? The last round for this evening is general knowledge. Question number eight. Which Stephen King novel takes place mostly in the fictional Overlook Hotel? And then if you can stick your scores in the comments for me, please. That would be awesome. Sarah Queen will stick them into the spreadsheet. So I do believe that we have got a curious confluence of um, full mark festivities in this week's quiz. I had to think about that for a minute because I wasn't sure. Which means our victorious team this evening is... So have a round of applause. Thank you so much uh, for taking part. It's been a lovely evening. Say bye-bye, Sarah. Hello. Say bye-bye, Adam. Bye-bye. Look after yourselves. We'll see you soon. Bye. What a carnival indeed. Now, over the last few weeks, we've seen some of the ingenious ways you have shown your appreciation for the NHS. The message has always been one of solidarity. You could say it's been, you'll never walk alone. I think you know where we're going with this. On that note, we will play you out tonight with another tribute, this time from Merseyside and the McGull Wind Orchestra. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely weekend.
I was not ready. 